You were making breakfast for your husband who was upstairs. You were almost done. Suddenly you hear someone's footsteps. You turn around and saw your husband who was talking with someone with full anger. You already knew that why he is angry. You start placing his breakfast on dining table. Suddenly he shout on call making you flinch. You look at him, he cut the call and about to leave but you stop him. The in breakfast is ready from. I have no time for this. I will eat in office. Don't worry. Saying this, he left with his bodyguards. Then sign and look at his disappearing figure. This is third time he is doing this again. You look at those dishes that you made for your husband. You go to work table and start eating them. Obviously, you can't waste the food. But still, it hurts you. The way he behaved like this with you. He is doing this from past few days. It's not like he is your cold husband, but he is changing into cold husband. You still comfort him, but still he always gets angry on little things. He has anger issues, and nowadays his anger is increasing more than before. You are Kim Yeon, who is 19 years old. Yes, you are still university student, and your mafia husband, who is also CEO of the biggest company. The young is 25 years old. You both had a love marriage. Kim fell in love with you when he saw you in university. So he decided to also make you fall in love with him, which even works. You fell in love with him when he married with you. He loves you so much, but nowadays he is so frustrated from his mafia works. Someone is leaking his company information secretly, and no one knows who is it. Kim tried a lot to catch the culprit, but he always get paid and always come home in angry mood. You don't like his behavior at all nowadays. It's not like he behaves rudely, but he is not giving you time. You completely understand his situation, but still you want his attention. You are done with eating. You are thinking about your boring life. You barely want his attention, want to cuddle with him, kiss him, but you can't do anything. Enough is enough. I am his wife. I have right on him. I don't know anything. I just want to cuddle with him for one hour. But what if he scold me? Whatever, I will ask him. Tain was sitting there with his group member. Tain, you should calm down. Yes, Tain, we will catch him soon. He is very clever. It's difficult to catch him.
make dinner for your husband. Now you are sitting on living room and watching television. Suddenly main door open, revealing your frustrated husband. You look at him being little scared, but stand up and go to the kitchen to give him water. You come out of kitchen with glass of water you was about to give him, but he go upstairs without even looking at you, making you confused. What happened to him? You decide to go upstairs and talk to him. When I come in our shared bedroom, I found Tayum who was working on his laptop. And she again was, I sign and call his name. Tayum. Tayum. Tayum looked at me in irritation and said, What? Can't you see I'm working? Yes. Can you stop working now? Come on Tayum. You always work 24 hours. I know you are not good, but at least give yourself a little bit rest. Hearing this, he looked at me coldly, but again start working, ignoring me. Tayum, are you listening what I'm saying? Yan, please. Oh, I have no mood to talk. I cut him off by saying, Okay, don't talk to me, but at least have a dinner with me. I already ate in my office. You go. What? I was waiting for you, Tayum. Did I told you to wait for me? How can you say that? You also know we always eat dinner together. Oh, come on, Yan. Stop being dramatic. It's not big deal if I ate today in my office. Stop being clinging and annoying Yan. I'm already frustrated and now you. He shout on you and pour his all anger on you. You listen his each and every word and quietly left.
was staring the photo blankly, but he did not realize his tear was coming through his teeth. I miss you, Ian. I'm sorry, he said while sniffing like baby. It's been three days. I did not see you. You restless now. Baby, I can't sleep without you anymore. I want you. Come back to me, please. Can you wipe his tears harshly and get up? He grabbed his coat and picked up his car keys. You are mine, Ian, and I will take you back. inside her room where she was sleeping peacefully. She is sleeping here without getting her husband. Such a cruel girl. Do you immediately hug you while you were sleeping? He hugged you so tight making you wake up. I missed you, Yan. Hug you more tight. Yan opened her eyes and get shocked. She get shocked when she feel wet on her neck. Do you was crying on her neck while saying, I'm really sorry, Yan. I know I'm the biggest jerk. I really hate myself for this. But come back to me. I really need you. I can't live like this now. It's been three days. Now how much you will punish me? I realized that I was totally wrong and jerk. I'm really sorry for shouting at you. If you want, you can also call me clingy and annoying. But don't push me like this. I'm your husband, right? You love me now. Yan was shout after seeing him crying. This is first time she was seeing him like this. And second, you were also happy that he realized his mistake. Yana, say something baby. I'm sorry, I swear to God, I will never do this. Please baby, come to your husband back. Dayong, stop it. Dayong, look at Ian cutely. I'm sorry. Your heart finally melt and you hug him back while saying, It's okay, I forgive you, don't cry. Ian smile widely and hug you tightly. I love you, my queen. Ash, Dayong, get up from me. You are so heavy. Ian flipped you and made you over him. The hell you are doing? You forgave me, right? Should I write this on my forehead? Then giggle and said, Let's go to our home then. Yeah, did you see then? It's 2.30 a.m. So? So let's sleep here tonight. We will go tomorrow. Then pout and hug me and tightly. I don't mind sleeping anywhere if you are with me. Then smile and said, Yeah, don't be cheesy. Then giggle and kiss her forehead. Good night, Mrs. King. Good night, jerk.